Hey everybody, it is Jack Duran, star director with Cincy, and this is Thanksgiving week. So we decided that instead of giving you our traditional uh, <laughs> Transformation Thursday, that we'd share a different side of what it means to be a Cincy consultant and what we do. So we are going to talk very briefly today about being thankful. And I think that that is a wonderful reminder to all of us because, I mean, it's Thanksgiving week, right? So we kind of normally will go into that, but it's been 2020, right? <laughs> like 2020 is a true four letter word. Am I right? <laughs> this year, if it has taught us anything, or if it's taught myself anything, it's simply to remain focused. And I like to, um, I know a lot of people will do like New Year's resolutions and things like that when it comes, you know, to like the beginning of a year or set goals, things like that. Now I do set goals. Um, I, I kind of do like the whole resolution thing, but one thing that I really love to do is to give something a word, like to give my, my year a word. And I really want this year going into 2021 to be focused because I think it encompasses everything when it comes to my business. I am, I am so thankful for the opportunity to have this business because myself and my family, we would be in a completely different place if it was not for this business. And, you know, I'm here on, I, I do a lot on YouTube um, and I have amazing followers and consultants from all over. And I get to talk to some of them in messages and, and comments and this and that. And, you know, I know that there's a lot of stigma around like direct sales or network marketing or whatever you want to call it anymore. I mean, I, I really don't know. And honestly, I really don't care. I am thankful for this opportunity in the business of Sensi because I'm not going to get emotional, but I might get emotional <laughs> because I couldn't do what I do in any other business and I couldn't do it the way that I want to do it with any other business. Um, I'm not going to bore you with my backstory, but I, um, I'm your official nine to five dropout, right? Like I put myself back through college and I worked my career at a corporate job doing finance. And I can tell you that I didn't get any satisfaction out of that. Um, I made good money. I loved what I did personally, right? Like me and my, my uh, staff, everything that we did and the bonds that we had. But the job itself never gave me joy. The job itself never gave me anything except that paycheck, right? Like that paycheck was why I went to work. That job was also the same reason that I hated getting up to go to work every single week. And um, as we got farther along now, I'm sure it's probably different, you know, because of 2020, but as we got further along, you know, in, I worked for a large healthcare system and in that healthcare system, right. It was always, you had to be in front of people to do a job, right. That was the so-called, you know, norm. That's what you had to do. And so it took a lot to be able to talk to, um, a lot of our higher ups, right? In our, cause it was a corporate, it's a corporate community, right? So, so you've got those top level executives making the decisions. 
And when you have a world that can go virtual and still provide your um, staff to be able to have a great balance and quality of life with work and life, right? Why are you not doing that? (laughs) It took so much for us to get to that point. And I was part of that charge leading the way of getting people to be able to to do their job, but to be able to do it from home because I saw the benefits that it was able to give to people. And even then it wasn't truly, you know, just because you were working from home. I mean, everything was strict, everything was regulated, everything was captured, everything was tracked, everything was everything, right? So it took a lot. So towards the end of my career, the last two years, I had the opportunity to work from home for like two to three days a week. And then I'd have to go into the office, right? Because in management, like they still, you you had to see the face of management, right? Do you think that I saw the face of my management? No, I had no idea if she was even in office that day. Honestly, I I, I had no idea. But I know I'm getting off track here. But my point being is that I worked all that time. I put in all that hard work and sacrifice and time away from my family and vacations that I could have gone on that I didn't because I didn't have the time to take off or they wouldn't allow time off or, um, you know, oh, I know that you're not feeling well, right? Like I I suffer from chronic pain with endometriosis in my back and, and all kinds of stuff, right? But it was, you know, yeah, I know that you're, you're having a crappy day, but I still need you in office. Why? Why? Because you didn't come check on me. You didn't even come over and say hello to me. You didn't do anything. So why? And it wasn't for any other reason, but that was what you were supposed to do, right? As I look back on those years and how sad I was during those years, even though I had little victories, don't get me wrong, my team was amazing. And and honest to goodness, we still get together uh, at least once a month, we try to still get together and do like a a dinner and things like that. So that, that shows those bonds, right? Those relationships were forged. What I have with Sensi takes that little piece that I had that brought me joy times a thousand. I am able to work a business that I absolutely love, to share things that I have passion about, that I like, that I enjoy, that I have fun doing, that make me happy. I get to meet and talk to new people almost every single day whether it's in person or whether it's on social media, right? I get to share experiences. I get to hear other points of view. I get to collaborate together. I get to um, have these amazing friendships that are bonded through Sensi. And I honestly, I wouldn't trade it for the world. I really wouldn't. 2020 has been a year, right? It's been a year. And had I still been in the corporate environment, I can tell you, there's no way I would have been able to balance my family life and my work life. There's no way, unless they had allowed working from home 100% of the time. And even then, it still would have been a struggle because even virtual learning that I'm doing with Madison is still... I need to be hands-on. I'm just humbled, I guess, because you know how the saying goes, right? That that when one door closes, another opens. And that I, I truly believe in, and however you believe is how you believe, right? the way that I believe is, is that things happen for a reason and that we're brought to things for a reason. And I know that it was a very hard decision for me and my husband to say, okay, we're going, going to, um, 
we're going to shift our whole entire life. And I'm going to work my Scentsy business full time. And I'm going to give 100% to my Scentsy business like I was giving that 100% to my job, right? So I'm going to give that to this business and see what it does for our family. And have we not made that decision? I, I guarantee you, I wouldn't be in a place to where I feel alive, that I feel happy, that I feel myself, that I feel like I'm making a difference, that I'm bringing joy. And that when I sit down to do work, yeah, it's work, but it's not work. I love the opportunity that we have with Sensi. I would not change it for the world. And I'm also very thankful. I was messaging back and forth with one of my directors and it is just so wonderful, the culture that I have within my tribe, right? My, my group, my team. These men and women, we lift each other up. We support each other. We have the same values. We have the same outlook. We have the same drive, the same passion, the same motivation to do this business because we see what it gives us. And we see what it gives to others. And in the culture of my group and my team that we have created, it is all about how can we help others? How can we be the light for someone else? Because we've all been there in the job that we hate going to or taking the kids to the center or finding a way to make ends meet. We want this to do the same for others that it has done for us. And that is something that not only am I thankful for right now here, you know, the week of Thanksgiving, but I'm thankful because had I not had the opportunity of Sensi, had I given up, had I thrown in the towel when I was getting beat down, had I not believed in myself and what I was capable of, I wouldn't be able to give so much to my team and to my friends and to the people that I network with. It has taught me so many things. It has taught me grace, humility, that I do truly have a voice, that I do have a good self-esteem. That's a big thing to be able to say that something gives you all of that and since he gives me all of that and more. If I could have everybody join Sensi, I would have everybody join Sensi. Not because it's a network marketing or pyramid scheme or whatever it is that they're calling things these days, right? I, I don't know about other things. I know about Sensi and I know that this is the way for me. This is the way for my family. This is the way for my team. This is the way that we are able to give so much. This is the way that we're able to, at the end of the day, be happy and have that joy and know that we're spreading that because in the world of 2020, you don't get a whole lot of chances to do that. So when I get excited about happy mail, or I get excited because um, I, had a, I had someone order off of my website, or I get excited because someone joins my team, or I get excited because a team member has promoted, or I get excited because a friend or a networking friend right within Sensi has is having the best month they've ever had. 
Those are the moments that I live for. Those are the reasons that I do this. Those are all the reasons that tell me this is the way. So not only am I thankful for the business and the opportunity that it gives me and my family, I'm thankful for the people who I get to do it with. I'm thankful for all of you who are watching this. I am thankful for all of the friends and the friendships that have been built because of all of this. And I am thankful for the opportunity I'm thankful. I don't know really how else to explain it other than this is the way. I found my way. And I can tell you that I am going to continue going on this journey. And I'm going to continue to bring everybody with me who wants to come. I'm going to be there to help people to lift them up when they need to be lifted up to answer questions, to be that friend, to help out with something that maybe they've seen that I'm doing that I can help them do. And I'm grateful to learn from others. I am thankful for the other men and women who we share the same arrows out aspect of how can we help others? How can we help others build this business? I'm so thankful. I hope all of you have an amazing Thanksgiving week. I hope that you stay safe. I hope you find your joy. And I hope I get to see you soon.